there's a ditch back there. We done run out. Dang it, why don't you work, you piece of junk? Well, we getting started bedding. You got Vincent, aka Pop Pop, in there, right, Christopher? Yeah. So he's uh he's bedding. We got uh, Stephanie, the boss lady. She's she's over on the other side of that house working. Let's see what this looks like, Christopher. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like how that looks. That looks good. I have to get, get my pop's notebook and tell me off the paper or not. Right there goes Dylan E. Vance from our local Greenpoint Ag. Going to put out some fertilizer for some of us. That looks pretty good. That's some good furs. It's a little cloudy here on the end. But I think we're doing good. That looks good. All right, let's go back to working on the problem, child. I have literally looked at my watch every five minutes wondering if it was time for lunch. I don't think I brought enough food. Floating, working the ground, bedding the ground, and planting all in one go round. Hey, guys. Hope you can see me. Yeah, you can see me. There we go. I know you can see me now. It is Saturday, y'all. And we're expecting rain tomorrow. But the fam bam, while I while I've been gone in the internship, the fam bam has been planting the far out of our soybeans. That's right. We farm soybeans too in Arkansas. Corn, rice, and soybeans on the Holloway farm. Well, you see, we got done with the rice. We went across the whole farm with our discs and our turbo tail and our floats. We slicked everything off. We set in the plant. Oh, there's a ditch back there. We set in the plant and uh, you gotta have moisture in your soil for the soybeans to sprout. And we ran out of moisture. We done run out. So so the, net, the game plan when things dry up, this is half, this happens every year. The game plan is when things dry up, that is when you bed everything up and you wait on the rain. Dang it, why don't you work, you piece of junk? Talk about you looking to fight me. Please work. We don't have uh, RTK or NAP mm -hmm. controller on this tractor. Where do you stand? So you gotta pay attention to this. Your far left tire, is it blown out or just got rubber swinging off of it? Oh. So. We're gonna bed everything up. I don't know. It's dusty. And I've never seen it till now. Because it's so dusty. We're gonna bed everything up and wait on the rain. And then finish planting. So I'm pulling a Edens Tipper Roller. We call it a better roller. Some people just call it a better. A lot of people call them hippers. It don't matter. And so Vincent is on the Triple K over there on the Case International Steiger 9150. And uh, he's working in front of me. He's 
because the floats can leave some small ridges that can be very rough when you're running across it. And it helps speed me up. He's going across it one time, making it smooth for me. And these rows run at a dead gum angle. Pressure is rough. And it takes me forever to work them out. So I'm going to try to get y'all some video of uh, the bed roller in action. Be, like I said earlier in another video, or other clip, be prepared to see some flashback film, flashback footage, whichever one I said, of Rice Plant 2020, because I got a bunch of them. So, all right, here we go. I wanted to give a little bit of a teaching moment southern farming teaching moment I don't know everything right I'm the farmer in training I guess you could say so you look here at this dirt I don't know if you can tell see this is lighter than this is right this is what was pulled from the fur here right okay so our seed bed which means the play the spot in the soil here where we place our seed should be this color not this color because this is dry this is bone dry so I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna show you why we're bedding there's Vincent We'll show you why we're bedding and not planting and waiting on a rain. All right. I don't see, there's not much dark colored dirt down there that would show moisture, right? I mean, look at it, it's not the same. It's not, it's not as dark as this right here. So, and that's probably as deep as you. That's deeper than what you want to plant them. I mean, look, that's right up, That's the hard stuff right there, which is what this is pretty much. That's the hard stuff that's got moisture. And you're looking at, gosh, I mean, oh, my camera is. You're looking at probably, let's turn you around. You're looking at probably. Looking at, you know, I can't see how many inches, four, four inches deep to moisture in some spots. That's probably the worst, worst spot, but that's why we're, that's why we're just uh, bedding it up and not planting, planting, I gotta enunciate. We're not planting because there's not enough moisture out here if we planted the soybeans out here right now with this, they would not swell up. They swell up right before they right before they uh, sprout or germinate, I guess you could say. 
Uh, I don't know all the plant science stuff about it. Uh, learn more as we go, because you're learning with me some, all right? And I'm teaching you some, and uh, you're kind of teaching me some, believe it or not. So, what happens is, if you don't have moisture, and your seed doesn't swell up and sprout and germinate, right? It's all, all one big thing. The seed will lay there, and it will mold. Because it ain't growing. But what happens? Well, if you don't have, we don't have no fungicide on these beans because it's so late in the year. They don't really need it, right? From what I was told, I may be wrong. They don't have fungicide on them, and after a while, they mold. And so, so we are bedding it up. Vincent way out there again but just so you know as soon as it rains man we'll sit in here with a planter or two let her eat man let her eat goes a, goes a fellow farmer Mr. Kane well all right I think Vincent's got enough double double done for me Double D I like that. Double D -ed. So, let's get in here and all right. Well, okay, we've already had some video of this, and there is not a good place on this better for you to get a good look at what's going on. Cause it is like dusty. I mean, look, look at the fenders. See that dust? Can't even see the red. See the dust on the windows. Well, that's not as bad on the front, but. And so it's bad, it, it's bad dusty. So you can't really see what's going on back here. So I apologize if you want more video of it. You may just have to come ride with me in person. I mean, cause camera doesn't, camera doesn't do it justice for how dusty it is. Well, all right, that's it for this one. Don't you just love it? Yeah, when you can't find a chisel, find all kinds of punches. Don't lose that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Probably ain't four of them in the state of Arkansas. And three of them being used. <laughs> oh, life on a farm. Don't expect nothing to run for very long. Benson had a wheel bearing go out, so we had to had to stop and fix that. So. All right, let's get going.